Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Lonnie Mattingly here, coming to you on behalf of North Harrison Baptist Church with Mid-Morning Manna. What a joy it is to come to you. Uh, I'm in a very unusual place today. Uh, let's see if you can figure out where I am. And our broadcast will be a little bit different today because we're not gonna be able to have any music as we normally do. And uh, it's just a wonderful time. But uh, I, you've probably guessed it by now, I'm in a hospital room. I am not the patient. I'm uh, sorry to say that the patient is this lovely lady right here. And uh, she is... Uh, hey, Dr. Harrison, I missed everybody yesterday. Yeah, and she... I don't, know, I don't know if you heard that or not. Go ahead, say it again. Hello, North Harrison. I missed everybody Sunday. Love you all. Yes, uh, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, Nancy had a little bit of a some kind of a spell where she passed out and uh, so we decided to bring her up to the hospital and uh, get everything checked out and uh, so that's where she is now and hopefully we'll be going home pretty soon and uh, she's pretty stable right now and hadn't passed out the last five minutes or so but uh, I thought of a verse that I think is uh, very important in times like these it's found over in the book of Proverbs, chapter number three, and verses five and six, actually, so it's two verses. The Bible says this, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And what a wonderful thing to know that we can trust in the Lord. Even on times when things that were unanticipated, and unexpected, and unwanted take place in your life, God is so good. He said, I just want you to trust me. And uh, that be good. That, that would be a very, a very good instruction for every one of us all the time, every day, because every day is full of new surprises from time to time. And uh, I'm just so thankful that we have a God that we can trust, that we can look to him, we can believe him, and uh, we can know that he is there for us. Do you know the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And God wants you to have that confidence. And God wants your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors to have that confidence. That's why I'm always saying, share these posts. Share mid-morning manna with your friends, with your neighbors, with your loved ones. Uh, the people that you're friends with on Facebook, send it to them. And uh, let God use you as a testimony uh, that there's a desire in your heart to make sure that the people in your circle of influence or your circle of friends have that opportunity to put their trust in Jesus Christ. Again, the writer of Proverbs, Solomon, he, the wisest man that ever lived, he said this, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Every way, get God involved in it. Walk with him, talk with him, spend time in prayer. Well, we're gonna have prayer right now for just a few moments and uh, praying especially. And I wanna ask you to pray for Nancy that if there's some serious problem there that they'll be able to discover it and treat it. You know, we, we have a great physician. I try to share this with people uh, often, people that are going through uh, health situations, that yes, I want the doctors to make wise decisions, wise choices, do the right thing. But in order for them to do that on a consistent basis, they need to be in touch with the great physician. He's the one that will direct them. He, the Lord is the great physician, and we need to be in touch with him, and we need to ask him to guide the doctors and the nurses and the other people who, uh, who tend to the, to the people who are sick, and that he'll help them to make wise decisions and do the treatments that'll make a difference in a positive manner, not in a negative manner. And uh, I just want to challenge you to have that thought. And, uh, and, and have that attitude and that spirit. When you're going through some tough times, know that God's on the throne. He makes no mistakes. He knows the beginning from the end. You can trust in the Lord with all your heart. You don't have to lean to your own understanding. You say, well, I just don't know why this happened to me. I, I don't understand it. Well, you don't have to understand it. Lean not to thine own understanding. 
and in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Allow him to do it. Let's pray together right now. Pray for Nancy. Uh, put her on your prayer list today. Pray for her throughout the day. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for your love and blessings. I thank you for your watch care over us. Thank you, Lord, that you probably care more about us than we even care about ourselves. I pray you'd help us to be what you want us to be. Help us, Lord, to be your witnesses. Help, Lord, if there's anyone watching or listening to this broadcast today to Mid-Morning Manna that's not 100% sure of salvation, help them this very day to put their trust in Christ. It's too important to not take care of it immediately because we, do, we never know what tomorrow's going to bring. And we need to learn to trust in you with all of our heart. God, help us to do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. Maybe tomorrow we'll be back to a more regular schedule, hopefully so. And, you know, it's my hope and prayer that, that today, uh, Nancy, I get to check out of here after the doctors see her and maybe uh, confirm that everything's all right and uh, we'll be ready to roll. Well, God bless you. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.